Hey people, this goes out to Roger Johnson who has rebuked me in the name of Jesus Christ in all capital letters and told me he could prove that I was the seed of Satan and I'm going to save him the trouble. I'm going to prove that I'm the seed of Satan and at the same time I'm going to prove that he's a sheep. So the room got real quiet after I posted that last movie. I don't know if y'all think I'm crazy but I got real good at reading this code book and I'm going to show y'all uh, just exactly how to use it. So here Deuteronomy 7.17 is a, is a good example. It's got two, two different examples in it. And, uh, and their interpretation is, If you shall say in your heart, More nations these, then how can I dispossess? And that's a crock. Because what it says is the key of Tomar to learn the, the writings from the beginning. The Bilba, the Bilba Becca, the, and that's in the bind of the sheepfold. Anytime you see those double letters in there, it's telling you to go to the code book. And the other writings tell you what code to pull off of there. There's, there's four codes. It says, in the bind of the sheepfold, first in to work from the goy to, to, to carry the, the foot connected to work from that's the goy writings on the bottom side where you see on the on the on the ursus there on the on the mm the the beer is for the goy the ursus is the church code for the stars and then you have the Adam code, the mum mom, and the God code, the MM. So it's saying the key is to learn from the beginning of the sheepfold. That would be a you. That's you. And first into work from the goy of the the ale, the knowledge to bind the life. Give them a beer. You got them bind. The beer to make cycle, to learn to profit. The knowledge to give the bind, first to make consume from. It's teaching the king how to rotate the beer and feed you all the old stuff first so he can profit more and, uh, and not give you the fresh stuff. So that Tomar that's above the code that's telling you the seal knowledge from the first. You're you're losing using the first code, the hieroglyphic code there, the the sheep. And uh, and then on the on the beers it's telling you to the foot, the 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 foot to work from. Uh, it's telling you to use the the goy code, the hippo, and uh, and. Uh, there was no bears in Egypt. That was a hippo back in uh, in Egypt. But uh, that was the the Ursa, and she was the big bear, the 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 uh, what you call the Big Dipper. They called it the the hippo. That was Ursus. And you can also see here where the word in lieu of came from. It's to to bind the connection in lieu of. In lieu of the first to make consume from, drink the old beer first. And that profit there, that comes from the the knowledge to 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 make fold life, to make fold to profit off of it. So here in Deuteronomy 16:1, we'll see the hippo again, but it's using a different part of the code. It says the summer, you know, the the fires from to connect first. That's uh, that's letting you know the beginning of summer, starting at Easter. Learn the writings, the shades of the beeb. The beeb. That's uh, that's Easter. That's when uh, that's when the sun's due east. It's when it's crossing over. To see the shit, and and what's the shits to you means to consume the work seals to them. Is to read the writings that you're not understanding of the posh to open the secrets divided of the liar and uh, this wasn't a liar when it was first carved in stone the colors had to be added later as 
as the procession of equinoxes changed the writings. The liar of the elect. And, uh, and it was, the elect used to be the ones that God elected to be smart enough to read this. And it kind of changed into ones that they elected to give the codes to. The key in the shade of the Abib. To the connected X to make learn fold. The, the connected plants to make learn fold. The plants is uh, is all of the, the beings on earth and all the beings of the heaven that's connected. The planets, the stars. I'm telling you, read from the stars to make the connected life. To learn the works to fold the ursus. I used to think that was from the mix, but uh, I, I just now recently learned that, that double M means that that's the, the code and the X first to work from. That's the, that's the code that was just above in Latin. The one that said ursus or the big bear, the big dipper. The, to, bind, the, to direct the works to bind life. You can see here in the Dome of Adama that uh, the Big Dipper, the Ursus, is, uh, is the hippo close to the center there. And it stretches. It uh, stretches from, from Liba all the way to Aquarius. And back in the time of these writings, that was the summer. That tells me that these writings are about 13,000 years old when, uh, when his dome and his writings was first set. So we'll see it used again here, Leviticus 25, 37. And it says, learn the writings to fold the secret picks, the, the picks of your money, to bind the knowledge of Titan. You see, they say that's, uh, shall you give, and then underneath it's the same thing, Titan, to make profit. We know they're talking about money here. It says, to bind the connection in the seed to consume. And you turn that around and it says the shekel. And uh, and in the waters first in the work seals to bind the knowledge of Titan. It's telling you in the waters of the, the beginning of the seal to, to break the code of the TTN, the TT seed. The Titan seed to learn the color. So this would be the color of Titan here. Titan green. And it's also the color of the moon Titan. Saturn's moon. Saturn's seed. So did the ancient people know there was water on Titan? Uh, we fixed and find out. So here at Deuteronomy 16.10 it starts with Voshit Hag. And uh, you have to watch it because they'll often turn that O the, to C into the A. It says connected to C to consume the work seals of the hag. And that's the divided foot. And that's why uh, in, the, in, the, in the dietary guide it always talking about the, the split hoof. But that could also mean eight feet. Uh, the hag. The, the divided foot to consume in to see the work seals of the liar. Remember the liar that was uh, that color chart of uh, of the months. The the alec to learn to learn the works to give from the secret writings of the ND bat for the cycles through bat the cycles through the house seal and the to make the 420, the dick, that's the, the 420 of Ashar, the Ashar, that's also Osiris, the one that, that got his dick cut off. To learn to consume first, Oshar, of the TTN, the, the, the code of the TTN, the Titan. To fold the knowledge consumed first, to make the brick, 
to make in the first fold to give. We got that code in there again, the KK. To make the connected life of the elect, the knowledge to bind the life words. So we'll go to this code of TT and see what's going on with it. So that Ashar means the knowledge to consume first. And uh, so we look and we see it's a bird. And uh, we can't really tell what kind of bird it is. We look and it says the Gracolus. And, uh, and that's just a generic name for many birds. And that name underneath is hard to see. So we go to this, uh, this later English copy and it says a jaybird. And I just can't believe that because that's Toth invented writing and he wrote everything and he's not going to give up his letter for a jaybird. This would be Toth. He was uh, a, what they call a white-faced ibis and sometimes he was a monkey. Uh, he, he changed up depending on his job. So we go back to the writing and we see it, it says the TT code and the N. And the, the N is a seed, uh, a seed or a, a cycle. Uh, and we think of a seed of, of a ibis would be a, the egg, the ibis egg. And if you Google that, you'll see uh, the color of an ibis egg is a... Uh, with the same color as Titan, the same color as the moon of Titan. And that's to work up on this color wheel. So that color would match up with Sir Ket, the, the Scorpio. She got a scorpion on her head. And that would be the, the eight-footed hag. So the first two-thirds of this line was just to tell us Scorpio. And the reason it's set like that is so now with this color wheel you can change it as the ages change as we have different stars sitting above us at different times all you have to do is spin the color wheel and you can use the same old writings so then to get down there and see what's going on with that kk so all that adds up to sir cat or scorpio to give the knowledge to consume first to make in the first KK, to make the connected life of the ales to make fold. So it's telling us here on KK to, to read the knowledge, the top line there. And that's saying uh, the annuals to seal the trinit. And uh, it's giving us another code there, the NN code. And uh, that NN is the cat, the now, now. So it's not telling us to read anything there. It, uh, we can go to Wikipedia and see what's going on with the cat. But that was Bassett and also Leo. And, and she, was, uh, she was the one that brought unity between Lower and Upper Egypt. And, and that would be uh, these silly hats that they're wearing. And what that's representing is, uh, is a flower, or the three stages of a, a sprout, and a flower, and, uh, and the seeding process. The, uh, that would be Osiris, he's uh, old and seeding. And that's uh, representing the three stages of the moon. The, the Greeks later came back and just made her the moon. As, as the times changed, she didn't have the Java Beset anymore. The Java Beset was blending the calendar back together at the end of the year with the lunar calendar to get everything set uh, with their 13 month calendar. And there's 13 moons in the year. And you can see her here in the middle of the Trinity. That would have been the original Trinity. And it, and it was the trinity of uh, of women back then. It, it was not the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It was the, the seed and the mother flower and the old fruit. And you could see everybody had this trinity and most of them it was woman because it was, it was about the moon. And uh, not just the moon, but everything works in that trinity. 
the world's smartest people said learn the secret of three six and nine and you can see here that knowledge was made before the language and everything blends together and that trinity the tetranet the unity everything works together and we're coming up on a time now and all we have to do is shift the color wheel one more lick but uh this is my favorite study guide here my buddy from the library emailed it to me I don't know where it comes from it uh, took about five seconds to download on my stream and off my phone and so if I got your email I'll uh, I'll have a copy of this in your box if you wonder it's uh don't worry about opening it up it downloads real quick and uh, it'll open up on your Adobe and you can put search in there and you can and you can put a, a letter in there and and find words it's associated it's hard to find them in any other tools because they change the meaning so much. And if anybody wants one, just uh, drop a quarter on my on my PayPal up there, and I'll have your email address, and I'll send it to you there. And uh, if there's anything else that uh, that you see you, you don't know where to find, let me know, and uh, and I'll leave a link for it. All right, good day, folks. God is love. God is light. God is knowledge.